Yesterday, I did a podcast telling you that the subpoenas on Hunter Biden and James Biden are worthless. They are worthless. If they ever show up, which is in doubt, they'll take the Fifth Amendment. We won't learn anything. All it will be that they're forced to be embarrassed in front of the American people. The Republicans know this. They know they'll never get anything out of them. And consequently, it's just for fundraising. It's for positioning. But lo and behold, Freedom Watch, your Freedom Watch, has obtained convictions against Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and James Biden for bribery from communist China, Ukraine, and Russia, and also against Joe Biden for negligent homicide in Afghanistan, when to look tough after 13 GIs were killed at Kabul airport, he ordered a drone strike and killed children of our allies, seven plus three of our allies with a drone strike. And notwithstanding all the Americans that were left behind, and this was, of course, the cause, this was the green light for Hamas and Iran to do what it, it is doing right now in Israel. It understood that this president doesn't have any cojones, that he's a coward, that he's a brain dead, that he's a criminal, that he is worthless as well. So we have a worthless Republican Party and a worse than worthless so-called president who was elected through fraud. But here's the thing. I sent to the new Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, a very strongly worded petition, very polite. You need to enforce these convictions. You, as Speaker of the House, control the Capitol Police. Under District of Columbia law, you are entitled to arrest somebody if there's probable cause that you know they committed a felony. Here we have much more than probable cause. We actually have convictions and sentences to put the Bidens away for 20 years each in a federal prison. Consequently, it's important for him to do his job now. So I want you, because he's been sitting on this now for over a week, I want you to call this number, 202-225-2777, 202-225-2777, and demand that Speaker Johnson send the Capitol Police over and arrest Joe Biden in particular now. You can get Hunter Biden and James Biden later. They're a bunch of losers. So is Joe Biden. But he happens to be the president of the United States that is dragging us into the world war, the new world war. We're already in it, the third world war, and a potential nuclear holocaust, frankly, because he has no idea what he's doing. At the same time he says he's supporting Israel, he's cutting the legs out from under Israel with pauses and making wisecrack remarks that Israel should have been more humane to the Palestinians early on. They couldn't be more humane because they needed to clear things out in Gaza before these Palestinians could even leave because Hamas was keeping them from leaving. But you need to call Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, say, do your job, Mike Johnson. You have the right to send the Capitol Police and arrest this president and to throw him in the Capitol prison. They actually have a prison there and put him there where the sun don't shine and leave him there to rot for the rest of his miserable life, which probably isn't that long because his health is so bad. In any event, call 202-225-2777. Let me know if you've done it. Email me at leclayman at gmail.com. We need your support. I want you to go to freedomwatchusa.org, contribute to our cause with tax-deductible contributions. <laughs> Coughing. I've got something. I'm not really feeling well these days. I have a problem with my ear, which I'm getting treated, but I wanted to get this message out today. God bless you. God bless the American people. God bless God, who is looking at what we're doing. It's time for us to do the job the Republicans won't do, but force Mike Johnson's hand. Tell him those subpoenas that you sent are worthless. We want you to go arrest Joe Biden today before it's too late. God bless you. God bless your family. Remember, the father and son will only help us if we help ourselves. Thank you for listening to me. And listen to my radio show this week, Special Prosecutor with Larry Klayman. Be back tomorrow with another special podcast.